So it's Dale here. Today I thought I'd show you my um, a few things that I really love to work with. And one is this moon shadow mist. But before I do that, I'm just going to show you that I'm going to put colour on and what I'm going to do with them. Because I bought these lovely um, Ranger embossing folders the other day. And I thought, oh, I'll get going with that. Now I'm going to show you what they are because when I first saw embossing folders or heard them, I had no idea what the lady was talking about and she brought out a whole container. So I've got a, a big shot here and an embossing folder is simply that it's a folder. It's got raised embossed shapes on and you can feed all sorts of things through. These ones are cardi paper, but I'm using um, just some tags and to maximize, I've got a, the plate on, follow the instructions of your gear. I put two on together to see what happens and I'll just show you. I know for many people, they know exactly what they're doing, but there are people like me who do not. And so you just feed it through and you're embossing. I use this machine in all sorts of different ways, but this is specifically for this. So when it comes through here, there's the emboss. Down on the floor. Here's the embossed papers, um, two tags. I put two together. To use the space and there is your embossed area and then I'll show you what I have done with them. So I love these, these are my moon shadow mists which I just love to use and as I say they were created in 1999 by Lindy from Lindy's Stamp Gang, she's not around anymore but her daughter runs the business and they were the very first sprays that she did and they basically, well they just have um, Walnut ink in them, and you might have used walnut ink, and I've used walnut ink a lot. And this particular one, the first one, Van Dyke, that is just walnut ink. You can see the colour there. Um, I'll spray it. I feel like making a bit of a mess, but there. And so that is just walnut ink. It hasn't got anything else in it. But all the others have got walnut ink and mica. Um, and just to get started, this just to show you the colour chart from her book. So there's this big range of colours. And when they dry, the um, the mica comes forth and shows. Oh, just the beautiful. They're lovely too for aged papers and all sorts of things. They're not like the Starburst, which have got dye in and much brighter. These are what you might call duller. So I've got a little my little colour chart here that I keep. And of course, I loved all that aged and worn sort of stuff. So I've just kept them so I... As a sample of what they're like. Um, that's Treasure Island Aqua. You can see that aqua that comes through. Um, and there, I think there are 24. The fuchsia, the silver. Uh, this is one of the most popular colours, Buccaneer Bay Blue. Um, and just going through some of the others, we sell them all. That's Mystic Malachite. And that's what this one is. This is Mystic Malachite. And what I'll show you is that when you, oh, they just, I use them all in different times. My supplies are a bit low at the moment. But this one here, I use Buccaneer Bay Blue, and which is here, and uh, Vi Violaceous Violet. Now, when you get them, you fill them up with a little bit of hot water, let them sit for a while, and then fill them to the line, uh, which is there, full. Don't fill them any fuller than that, or you can't move it. When you go to use them each time, or when you, you need to shake them up to get that mica moving. And if the mica gets jammed inside, you can just blow it out or um, get a, a needle and get it out that way or take the top off um, and just blast it through. But it's like anything, mica will stick to it. Um, so but I'll show you how I've used them. So I've done my embossing on there. And this little one, the Van Dyke one, can you see what's happening as it comes up? And I'll just dry it a little bit. And that embossing just gives that nice shape. You can add waxes and all sorts of things onto that. And if um, if I wanted to add a bit more colour, I could take something like tawny turquoise and just put a little bit. Now it looks pretty dreary when it's like that, but that's what's happened when we just help it along. Leave it dry naturally, or or uh, help it along with your heat gun. And you start to see, see the turquoisey colours coming through. That's what makes them quite exciting. The change in a little bit that I did there. 
This one here is uh, like a typewriter um, um, folder, which is pretty good. And I've used the gold doublins or the, one of the golds can, or bronze, and you can see it all there. But I'll show you this last one here. And this is one that I put through. Uh, we'll go with this one that I put through. And let's see the Mystic Melly type. already you can see the colour starting to the colour forming and then dry it off and you've got a wonderful tag and by the way I stitch on these too sometimes but they make good inserts in your journals and so on so that's what that looks like isn't it beautiful this one here is coming up. It's a bit soggy at the moment because they were wet, of course. And this one here with the Mystic Mallet tart, it's just really quite lovely. Um, so there you go. I hope that's given you some ideas if you've got tags and embossings and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. But I do love them and we do sell them and we always have the full range. So see you again. Bye.